Well, you guys got a really quick video here for you on how to create your own audio CDs with a free piece of software called ImageBurn. Now this one's been requested by a couple of my YouTube members asking how do you create your own audio CDs from music that you've created yourself using a free piece of software. Well, free piece of software is called ImageBurn. You can download that at um, imageburn.com. Now here I've got a folder with some songs like so and they're just named song 1 to song 20 as you can see now this could be any type of audio file okay and uh, what you need to do here is download image burn and install it I'm not going to go through and install it I'm just going to show you how it works so here we've got uh, our image burn once it's opened I'm going to pull this down now what we need to do here is create a Q file for our songs now there's a couple of ways of going about this you can either hit the tools button and then create a Q file or you can go mode and then write and then just down here you can see create a Q file and there's a little music uh, icon on, on there okay so we're going to click on that now once you've done that you need to come up to the top right hand side here where it says browse for files now we can leave this as is I'm going to click on that now we need to locate our songs folder where you've got all your songs stored so I'm just going to highlight all of these and then click open it's just going to analyze these audio files and then put them into an order okay so that's now done now you've got a couple of options here open to you, you can see we've got our uh, song list here and we've got session one. Now we've got the pre-gap, the pre-gap is the amount of space that you want between each song. Now you can leave this as zero seconds and as soon as one uh, song finishes it will go on to the next one. And I'm going to leave that as is. Now the text, CD text is the actual names of the songs now if you've got a list of songs like this with no names or titles you can create your own text file and then add that in okay and add the text file in by putting file name and it will add that in for you okay and you can point to that uh, location now I'm just gonna leave that as is and leave it blank now once you've done that we can then click OK you can leave this as is down here as I said click OK here now it wants to create the Q file and I'm going to leave that in the songs 2013 uh, folder with all the other uh, files now that's now completed now it's now you can see here it's um, not uh, lit up and that's because we need to put in our CD and I'm just going to quickly do that so once you put your blank CD in this will light up like so and then all you need to do is click on this button here which is now right as you can see it's going to point to the Q file and then write this CD now I'm not going to complete this process all you need to do here is either leave verify to verify that it's uh, uh, burnt ok and we call it burned because that's what it's doing on the disk uh, or you can call it right or whatever you want but the disks you need to use are the 700 megabytes uh, 80 minute uh, long discs okay and that's the ones you want to use for this now you can use audio discs uh, special audio discs created for music and they're the ones I would advise you to use okay now this method can be uh, used the same procedure you can use it for all types of uh, file formats for example AAC APE uh, FLAC or WAV files or anything like that and it will do those audio CDs for you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then please hit the subscribe button, guys. That will keep you up to date when I upload new videos. And also, if you enjoyed the video or dislike the video, then hit the like button or dislike whatever you uh, see fit. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.